Yeah, so this fire started in the middle of the night, around 3 in the morning. So a lot of people were asleep, weren't even sure what was really happening. That allowed the fire to quickly spread. So this is Kayford Circle. It's right near the Northeast Philadelphia Airport. I want to zoom in and show you the home where the fire started. It is this end row home here. You can see it is completely destroyed. Uh, firefighters arrived here about 3.15 this morning, and there were flames <laughs> shooting out of both of those uh, floors there. And then we pan over to the right. It spread to the next two row homes as well. So we're talking about three homes damaged. And the people inside that first row home had to run out trying to save themselves because the fire was so intense, uh, leaving their homes with barely anything on their backs. And then the other two neighbors next door also injured. So in total, five people were hurt as we show you some video of firefighters responding to this massive blaze. In the first house, three adults injured transported to the hospital, according to firefighters. The home next door, one adult and one child also transported, mostly for smoke inhalation but at least one person suffered some burns as well. We're told all of them are stable this morning. Firefighters say there was also some sort of explosion after the fire started, likely due to a propane tank blowing up that was in the back of one of these homes. Right now, the investigation underway into what sparked this fire. As you can see, really intense flames shooting out of these homes. Firefighters believe it likely started in the back of one of these row homes. But this neighborhood here in Northeast Philly, these row homes are packed together pretty tightly. That allowed the fire to spread to the two adjoining homes as well. We're talking to neighbors here, too, who woke up to the smell of smoke, the sounds of people screaming outside. And this neighborhood, a lot of people know each other pretty well. They ran outside to help, some of them not even wearing all of their clothes, barefoot, just trying to get out to save their lives. Everybody's welcoming everybody from these five houses into their homes to get warm, go to the bathroom. Call for tea. Call for tea. And one lady down the street gave the lady up who was who's in that last home I said get her socks or shoes or something because she was barefoot they gave her some shoes they put blankets on her so every, every, everyone just came everybody's, together everybody's pulling together and back here live, you can see crews still on the scene here at 6.30 this morning. It has been placed under control, but it's going to be a long cleanup operation in this northeast Philadelphia neighborhood of Morrell Park. Neighbors tell me they're just glad everybody made it out alive, but again, there were five injuries. We also saw some neighbors here with oxygen uh, after suffer suffering some smoke inhalation as well. Uh, but the general consensus here is that this is really a lucky situation despite everything you're seeing because uh, it happened 3 o'clock in the morning. Everybody was asleep, but still they were able to get out without any serious injuries. For now, we're reporting live in Northeast Philly. I'm Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News.